So the United States give about $45 billion so far, NATO about $35 billion. Do you support that? I do not. And I've been one of the few members of Congress that have, have voted against the money going to Ukraine from the beginning. Um, you see, I'm unapologetically American, and I believe that I represent the American people in the United States uh, Congress. And our problems are so great here in this country. I think we should we should be focusing at home. Also, it's important to note that Ukraine is not a NATO member nation. And that's something significant that often gets left out in these conversations about supporting Ukraine. We have sent uh, or we have approved $113 billion to go to Ukraine. That's over 10% of our defense budget. While our border is being overrun every single day, and I serve on the Homeland Committee, it's been overrun by over 10 million people, and there are now over 1.8 million gotaways in our country. We don't know where these people come from. We don't know who they are. They could be terrorists, uh, human traffickers, child sex traffickers, all kinds of criminals. And I believe these issues are so serious, and they're so serious because this is what the people in my district talk to me about, and this is what people across the country talk to me about. All right. They don't would want you to support, fund a war in Ukraine. Would you support continuing aid to Ukraine if the asylum situation is revised? That's what's being talked about in the House and the Senate now, a deal. All right, tighten up well, asylum in return. Would you support that? I've been in some of these meetings, Bill. Actually, we had a conference meeting about it this morning. I do not support giving money to Ukraine. They're stealing our money. There's evidence okay. of fraud there, and the Ukrainians so you'll, are you'll rich vote on American taxpayer dollars. Now, I disagree with you because I know that Vladimir Putin will uh, continue his encroachment. Now, I'm sure you know this, but he's taken a big slice of Georgia, the country Georgia. He controls Belarus. If he controls Ukraine, then he's right on the border. He can put all his weaponry right aimed at uh, NATO. And then he goes into the Baltic countries that are right on his border as well. Finland just sealed its border because of the intrusion of Russia. So I submit to you, Congress, a woman, mm -hmm. we would pay 100 times more in five years than we're paying now because Putin's not going to stop. The second point is, if Putin's allowed to win in Ukraine, say goodbye to Taiwan. Would the Chinese taking over Taiwan bother you? Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.